Hello, trading is closed on January the 8th, 2018. We had a MJT target, most likely to print today, of 2732.95. We came nowhere close, so we'll just call it a failed target added to the list. It should print at some time, it just doesn't have to be anytime soon. During the day, MJT early on said so ultimately higher price it would print. They did. Says the rally's false, gives us a target of 2745.14. We hit 2745.34. It's close enough to make the target optional. It doesn't really have to print, but almost always will. Most likely by tomorrow. Well, what did today's rally change? Well, <clears throat> It did give us bar 13 of a sequential sell, but as I say, these have failed so many times. I'll see it, I'll believe it when I see it, but if we do start dropping from here, it's a plausible place. I just have to see it reverse first before I'm going to risk money on it. I don't think our wave count has been altered. I don't think this channel's been altered. It just isn't enough of a move. It's a plausible place for a reversal, but we haven't reversed yet. This is a pattern with an early high and a late low. Tomorrow's pattern should have an early high, which doesn't preclude us dropping down first. A pattern with an early high and a late low tends to be negative. It tends to close near the low of the day when that doesn't happen. It leads to higher prices unless we invalidate it by gapping in either direction and promptly taking out this low. It's in conflict with this optional MJT target, so the most likely thing is we gap outside the day's range, and next most likely thing is that we gap and promptly move outside the day's range, and next most likely as we close, it'll change, have the big move on Wednesday. The bears really have the best shot they've had in a long time. We have the price, we have the trend line, we have the demark, we have the date. This is on Saturday, so it, if it's on Saturday, that would mean either today, Monday, or last Friday. All they need to do is reverse, and if they're going to do it, they really should gap and promptly undercut this low. If they can do that and gather some steam, this has a chance of working. <clears throat> but if they can't, this is kind of a fissure bait, fissure cut bait movement moment. If they can't reverse quickly from here, then the uptrend remains intact. So we're at a critical juncture. We have basically a positive pattern. We have lower targets. We have to see who wins. A lot's going for the bears, but until they perform, I'm not willing to risk any money on it. But if they do gap down, this could be a very big drop. And um, that's today's call.